Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second installment in our wedding series. And the first video in the wedding series, if you haven't watched it yet, is all about my engagement ring. I asked you to leave all your questions in my Instagram and I answered them all on that first video for you guys. So click here and you can watch that video and then you can come back and watch this one. Today we are talking about Frank Darling. So they're the company that we went with to design the custom engagement ring. And I really wanted to do a whole video dedicated to them because when I was looking on information for them online, they are a newer company, so there really wasn't a lot of information. They market themselves very well. There was a lot of kind of like content out there, but as far as first-hand accounts of how it was working with them, I couldn't find much online. So hopefully this can be your go-to resource if you need any help deciding to go with Frank Darling or not. I'm going to talk all about my experience, going to give you a bit of a background on the company and just some things that I really liked about working with them. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with a little bit of a background on the company and how I ended up finding them. If you watched my first video, you know that I kind of designed my ring off a like bigger designer ring that was just really crazy expensive. I wanted to partner with a custom company that could kind of take that design and help me bring it to life with some little tweaks and personal touches. So when I was doing my research, one of the things that was the most important to me was trying to find a diamond that had a very slender length to width ratio. And a lot of websites you actually can't search based on that function. When I was doing my research, I checked a ton of different brands and Frank Darling, you actually could search online their diamonds via length to width ratio. So that kind of made the process for me super easy. So from there I approached my fiance Graham and asked him if he was fine kind of going with anyone to do the custom ring and if I was able to choose who he went with. He was like, yeah, of course. So then I kind of dug a little bit deeper into the company just to make sure that they were actually someone that I wanted to work with. So once I dug a little bit deeper and looked a bit more into the company, that's when I really knew that I 100% wanted to work with them. So they are a newer company, not funded by venture capitalists, which is like awesome, self-funded, female-owned, and they are, I want to say under five years old, they're a newer company. And where some people might be a little hesitant to work with a newer company because they're still learning, there might be like kinks and stuff like that. I like that you know you're getting really good service because every single customer has to be super important for this company to survive. So you know you're going to be getting amazing service, and I did, and we will definitely go more into that, but I kind of want to talk a little bit about their founder. So her name is Keegan. She is a total boss babe. She was on Forbes 30 Under 30. She has a BA in industrial design. She did some work with 3D printing and that's kind of how she started going into this company was she was printing like 3D casts of the rings and stuff and just reading about her specifically kind of made, really made me excited to work with the company. I like when you can see the face behind the company, you can plainly see what their values are. And one of the things I really like too on their website, for example, you can just tell that you're buying from a company that is young and cool and quite honestly the jewelry industry in a whole is kind of dominated by like old men and if i'm being very frank uh, see how i did that i don't trust them to give me their opinion you know like it's not something you're gonna wear so why would i trust you to give me your opinion on things versus a younger woman who has an obvious taste level that resembles mine. I feel like I can talk to you and like actually get through to you and you just have like that style that I that I like. Do you see what I mean, right? That for example was super apparent when I went to their website. Everything is so nicely designed. I feel like a lot of these bigger companies, you can tell it's just really marketed to the masses and Frank Darling is marketed to I think a more niche and a more specific customer so you're either gonna like it or you're not but if you like it it's for you so that's what I really liked and I really felt like 
excited about everything right off the bat when I was on their website. So something else that I liked, they offer a ton of different ways to kind of like create your ring. They have a ton of pre-made designs on their website and that's another thing I liked was that I liked a lot of these designs. They were very modern. A lot of them were very low profile. Just very different than what I'd seen on a lot of other websites. It wasn't very frilly and girly. It's very modern and timeless and minimalistic and it really spoke to me. So you can go that route or they also give the option you can do fully custom or even just take something and slightly customize it, tweak it. And I really liked how versatile all the options were, as well as they have Lab Mind, they have Moissanite, they have Real Diamonds. So another thing that was important to me was the sustainability factor. So they actually use all recycled gold, which I really like. All their diamonds are either Kimberly certified. So the Kimberly process, I'm just going to kind of read here. It's for guaranteeing that diamonds are certified conflict free, which is obviously important to most people. So that's kind of the background on the company itself and how I found them. How the whole process started, I actually reached out to someone on Frank Darling via their like customer service email and just kind of gave them a brief overview of what I was looking for. And it was a Saturday, I really wasn't expecting much and got a reply like an hour later from Keegan, the owner actually, and she was super helpful. We actually emailed back and forth pretty much that whole day. I was kind of really getting into what I wanted and then I ended up CCing Graham on the emails as well so they could kind of like in the background talk about budget and work all the logistics out and stuff like that. But I was really involved in the entire process, which if you're a control freak like me, uh, is really fun because you know that all the questions that should have been asked were asked and you're getting exactly what you want. Their customer service is so amazing. And this is probably gonna come off this whole video like, I don't know, like an ad or something. But honestly, I just really enjoyed the whole process. It was very like, stress-free and Keegan was really great at answering all my questions, kind of putting my mind at ease. She really prioritized the things that I told her I wanted to prioritize and areas where I had any concerns. She wasn't trying to upsell us or sell us on anything that we didn't want and she really, you could see, like kind of tailored her approach specifically to us. So. We really enjoyed working with her. The whole process was very enjoyable. And she was very frank about some things as well, like the fact that I probably wasn't gonna be able to have the ratio I wanted in a lab mind. So we started looking at natural instead. And then she was very frank about, you know, you might have to up your budget to get everything that you want. And so we, you know, it's something that you would rather know than feel like you're going around in circles. So I will show you now the wonderful little box everything came in. I obviously didn't see this until after we were already engaged because Graham was hiding it in the house. But here it is with their branding, the wonderful like cobalt blue color, which if you know what my new last name is going to be, it's very fitting. And in this box is my diamond certificate. So. You're gonna get this pretty much with any diamond you pur purchase. It's GIA certified, so it just kind of shows you, gives you all the stats. So it comes like this. It comes with a wonderful little, looks like a little dust cloth almost. That's like, I'm assuming, supposed to be used to clean the diamond. I never understood why girls would get all like, oh, my ring is so dirty when you look at it. And now, because I can blatantly tell the difference between it being kind of like mucky and like, freshly cleaned. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, I get it now. So in the box you also get the ring box. <sighs> so exciting. And I'm obviously going to keep this just because it's so cute and sentimental and yeah. Now the only unenjoyable thing about the process, and it's not anything I had to deal with, but we are based in Canada and Frank Darling is based in New York so importing the ring into Canada was apparently 
a nightmare. I told Graham I didn't really want to hear much about it because I feel so bad and it's like stressing me out. So if you're based in Canada, it might not be the best option or it's just something to consider that you are going to be paying customs on the diamond and the setting. I was under the impression it was only on the setting, but apparently not. So just factor that into your budget. Otherwise, they were amazing to work with. And this is just the one little hiccup that is obviously not their fault. It's my problem because I picked someone in the States. Sorry. I don't think either of us at the end of the day regret the decision. We both love the ring so much. I will cherish it forever. It's so unique, modern, and if you do want a nice little close-up of it, go check out my first video because I do like a nice little close-up in there for you. So that's about it for our video on Frank Darling. I really just wanted to create this video because when I was looking online, like I said, there wasn't much out there as far as first-hand reviews, and they were honestly just so amazing to work with, and I would love to put anyone's mind at ease who is kind of on the fence. So if you have any questions at all about the process or anything at all to do with Frank Darling, just leave a comment below. I will answer all your questions. And I would love to help you throughout that exciting journey that hopefully you are about to embark on. Also, if you can, please subscribe to my channel because I put new videos out every Thursday and Sunday. And next Thursday, we'll actually be putting out our third wedding series video. And that one's going to be with me and Graham. We are talking about our proposal story. So that one's going to be super fun, exciting. We both get to give our side of the story I guess like how we were feeling that day and it's just gonna be a super fun video so yeah subscribe so you do not miss that third video and thank you guys so much for watching